Okay, everyone. Um, it's been about seven hours since I started to, and I fed my starter this morning. You can see it has already doubled itself in size. It has lots of bubbles in it. I'm gonna send you some pictures as well. And what I'm going to do right now is a flow test. So my starter has doubled. It's bubbling. It looks very puffy, like kind of like a marshmallow. Also, when I'll touch it, I feel it. What I'm gonna do is take really from the edge, because I don't wanna deflate everything from the edge, a little scoop of starter and drop it in here. This is a little um, jar or glass with water. And I'm gonna gently drop it in and see if it floats. So we're gonna perform the flow test now. So I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of starter, kind of gently. Drop it in here. And as you can see, it is floating. So that's really good. That means that right now my starter is ready to be baked with. But our first feeding of our starter today was not for baking. We're basically monitoring our starter. We want to know how it behaves so we know what time to feed it this evening. So what we're going to do right now is um, just close the jar. I'm going to keep it here. My room temperature here is about 20 degrees. I'm going to leave it in 20 degrees and we're going to see if it continues to grow. If it continues to puff off more, then it's gonna be even more activated and we can use it later. We wanna catch it as it, at its peak. So we just wanna learn when it peaks happen. So from this point onwards, seven hours onwards, I can already use my starter. But can I use it also after eight hours or nine hours? We're just gonna keep it here and see. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and we will see that maybe it will deflate a little bit more or it will start to crash down. Meanwhile, I'm uh, going to dispose of this. Um, if it floats and after a while it doesn't float, that's normal. We're looking for it to float at the beginning. So don't be worried if that happens. So if your starter has doubled, if it's bubbly, you can already perform this test. Please make sure that you mark how long it took you to reach uh, the doubled starter and the successful flow test, what the temperature was, uh, and make a note of everything so later on um, yeah we know how your starter behaves and it will be easier for us to bake good luck